isn't that special? <laughs> <laughs> oh no my queen bee my she she was like a golden girl to me Washington Post reporter Taylor Lorenz doesn't like me. Apparently, I've been living in her head rent-free. Lord knows there's lots of space. That's right, Taylor Lorenz, the journalist who uh, spends her time trying to disparage other more successful women online, which she's not whining about not enough people wearing masks or whining about how she can't turn her thermostat over 90 degrees and whining about how social security in this country makes it hard for her to, to, to have a living wage at the age of 95. She apparently has been following me quite closely and took the very first opportunity she could to smear me. And so since I don't work at the Washington Post, the only way I know how to respond is to use my platform. And we're gonna get into that after a super quick word from this video sponsor. Huge shout out to this video sponsor. That's right, Sheath. These boxers are designed to keep your balls off your legs. She has three individual compartments to keep everything down there separate and cool and comfortable. And hey, since they've been a long time sponsor, I've heard from many of you who have tried out Sheath and really love it. They were invented by a US Army soldier who came up with the idea for Sheath during his second tour in Iraq, where it was hot as heck and his boys needed to breathe. And on top of all sorts of awesome designs for Sheath, they've added all sorts of winter items, hoodies, gator necks, and all sorts of base layers. Head on over to the link in the description and pin comment down below. Use my promo code to save and support the channel and keep everything nice, cool, and dry. And of course, just to give you a brief history of what an amazing reporter, uh, multi-millionaire uh, heiress Taylor Lorenzo. By the way, didn't, did you know that? That she was born into extreme wealth, multi-millionaire parents. Did you know that she went to uh, uh, extraordinarily expensive private schools her whole life? Did you know that? Did you know that friends and family members of her have removed her tweet history and things like that from the internet archive. Did you know that? Did you know how well connected uh, internet cry bully Taylor Lorenz really is? Just thought, just thought I'd remind you. Of course, this is the same Taylor Lorenz that went on to blast her coworkers over an insanely insensitive tweet. At some point, we're going to need to begin the conversation about people still too afraid to leave their homes because of the coof. I personally know of two such cases. This is not a healthy way to live. Really a totally fine tweet, right? Nope. Taylor absolutely loses her reptilian mind. What an absurd, insensitive thing to post. Thousands are dying per week. Millions are disabled. And we have no effective drugs to, inf to prevent infection. Wait, I thought we were putting that stuff. Oh, whoa, 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 I don't want to go down that road. I, I thought everyone was, you know, okay, anyway. <laughs> whoa, whoa, I'm just kidding. Yeah, I oh, yeah, President Biden said, you know, okay, well, anyway. Immunocompromised people don't deserve condescending comments about being too afraid. Okay. This is a woman that travels to, went to YouTube, uh, whatever the stupid YouTube convention is, where a bunch of elite YouTubers uh, brush shoulders with the plebs. Uh, she goes to conventions constantly. She's always talking about how she's traveling the world, okay? Uh, you see this article, which is in Spectator World, from earlier this year. Taylor Lorenz is a cry bully. She minds outrage and attention by crusading against the ethically enlightened. You see, again... Taylor Lorenz, uh, you know, again, this is somebody. Washington Post defends Taylor Lorenz reporting after the story on Libs of TikTok Twitter account. Well, I don't care if she wants to write about how she doesn't like the Libs of TikTok. That's entirely her, um, her prerogative, her right. Um, but then you get articles like this from NBC News that is literally titled, 
quote, why the doxing of libs of TikTok creator is justified. This was an article that is real. There's a proper term for what happened in the libs of TikTok creator. It's not doxing. What do you mean? Taylor Lorenz linked a hyperlink to this woman's home address in an article that went out in the Washington Post. It was by definition doxing. The creator of Libs of TikTok was not a public personality, did not put their personal name behind the account, and certainly did not want their address for lunatic leftists to show up at her house. Okay, that was done to intimidate them. That's the type of journalist Taylor Lorenz is. And you know, you'd think for someone nearly 100 years old, she would know she would have some life skills, but... When you grow up with not just a silver, but a platinum spoon in your mouth, you have no, there is no way this woman re, re, like relates to actual normal people. Like if, 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 if Taylor Lorenz came to like my hometown here and we went to the pub, I just, I'll just sit across the bar and just watch. I don't know if she'd make it 10 minutes without running out of there. Like what if she was forced to talk to somebody who works on cars for a living? What if she was forced to talk to a bricklayer or a construction worker or a cabinet maker? Do you think that she could even do that? I don't. You see, the Washington Post is one of America's most revered news organizations. No, it isn't. Once led by Catherine Graham, an era-defining media CEO, and edited by a news legend, Ben Bradley. Today, one of the most high-profile employees is an internet culture reporter named Taylor Lorenz. Her involvement in numerous scandals involving Reporting errors, frequent falsehoods, violation of journalistic norms, troubling online interactions. All this is this is who she is, right? And you can read that article over there. But this week we reached a new thing. Now look, this video isn't about Ben Collins. Ben Collins is a is a leftist. He works at NBC News. Uh, I don't agree with his opinions, but he also wrote an article about uh the individual uh who had some mean things said about her online. And so they try to take down the entire website, like Kiwi Farms and all this kind of stuff because some mean words, right? They made all sorts of wild claims about things that were said on that forum leading to people losing their lives, but that's never been proven. So Ben Collins, uh, there's a video clip going around of said person saying that they had donated, she's, she said, or Keffel said, I'll say, I don't know, they change your name every week. I can't keep up with it. Uh, Keffel said, um, was reading on a donation and it said, oh, reoccurring donation from Ben Collins. And then went on to say, oops, I, uh, I shouldn't have said that person's name. I apologize for saying that person's name, right? The reason it had people's spidey senses is because Ben Collins, who works at the NBC, wrote the article about Keffel's. So it seemed pretty suspicious, right? Now, Ben Collins isn't exactly um, Alejandro Pasternak Schmitz Witz. It's not exactly a super unique name. There are probably a thousand people in this world named Ben Collins, in this country. There's probably more than that, right? Totally reasonable explanation. So I, I tweeted out, why is NBC reporter Ben Collins? And then I added him, and then I also DM'd him sending automatic cash payments to someone he is also writing articles about. That seems almost like an ethics and journalism thing. Ben, do you have any comment on this before I make a video about it? I'll reply. I'll need a reply by 10 a.m. Obviously a joke about the way like Taylor Lorenz and these reporters do that stuff. So what, what does he respond? Before responding to me, he posts this. The far right has spent the weekend concocting a very fun conspiracy theory that I gave my money to a Twitch streamer I covered. What am I, 14 years old? I'm old as heck. I give my money to food banks and people on GoFundMe with weird old man diseases. Think about this, people. And again, I will say this video is not about Ben. Okay, I may not agree with his politics or whatever, but again, he, he denied it to me in private and he denied it publicly. And there's really no like, uh, there's no evidence beyond them sharing a name, okay? Could, could, it's probably just a coincidence. Um, so then he goes on to write, seems like somebody impersonated me with the intention of driving this exact news cycle. Probably not. You're probably not that important, Ben. Um, it probably was just somebody who also was named Ben Collins. I'd never even heard of you. Um, if only there were some reporter who was covering how easy it is to impersonate public figures, 
on the internet and talking about it all week. I'd read that guy's stuff personally. Of course, Ben's crusading against Elon Musk. Then he links the story, right? So, but then here's where things get weird. Okay, so he was super heated in the DMs. I. It's weird that he posts DMs. I didn't post any of his melty DMs. He was very, very angry. I didn't post those. It seems like internet code, but journalists don't have that. So he posts my DMs and he says, honestly, give it up to the courting. It is possible to do the right thing. Which I said to him, I reached out directly to you, which is more than most journalists would do, right? Uh, then he wrote, I just hope you look inward. Keep it up. I don't care. Just think about this in a good way to spend your life. I got to go watch House Hunters, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like... I don't know why he was he was coming at me with like a, a thousand miles an hour. But anyway, I deleted the video, okay? Because he said, hey, that's not me. And I didn't have any evidence to the contrary, right? I didn't, if, if I got the receipt on the payment, that might be different. For right now, he can just say they have the same name and that's all that there is. Um, but then Tay-Tay, probably waking up from one of her many naps, decided to come in and say, no. You do not have to give it up for a man who continues to harass your female colleagues and will never remove all the rampant lies and gendered harassment he posts about us. What is that? What is that? Has anything I ever said about Taylor Lorenz had anything to do with her being a woman? Genuine question. Have I ever said, huh, Taylor Lorenz, chicks, am I right? No, in fact... Taylor, Taylor Lorenz inserted herself into a thread about a man. Okay, I assume Ben Collins is a man. I don't want, I mean, it's a different day these days, but certainly presents as a man. My comment had nothing to do with women. And here's Taylor Lorenz interject herself. You have the immense privilege to be out, to be able to call this man out online in a viral Twitter thread. We do not. What? This is viral? Oh, I guess I got 10,000 likes. I don't know. I got a bunch of new subscribers, so thanks, Ben. I think I got like 8,000 subscribers that day. But anyway, no, I am not far right. It's absurd. I, I know I have people who watch my videos that are very right, strong right, and I accept them. And I, have, I, I know you might not believe this, but I have people that watch my videos that are strong left, and I, uh, I accept them too. But I've always been very open and honest about my own political opinions, and they are not far right. And then, of course, all these other journalists who I've ever critiqued, all women, by the way, seem to think it's about women. Here's Cecilia D'Anastasia, one of the worst ever, uh, worked at um, Kotaku for a while, published absolute trash. Uh, you see, seconding Taylor. I don't know if you're just unfamiliar with this guy, but he drives targeted harassment on a regular basis. Wow, thanks, Megan Farrakhamanasha. Never even heard of you. I certainly haven't ever spoke of you before, so where would you get that? I don't even get it. And then, just then people say, okay, Taylor, it's okay when you do it. You could totally write a hit piece on anyone you want, anyone you like, Taylor. Then there's if there's blowback, you just blame the editor. You deserve everything you get. And, and then some, maybe if you didn't spend your whole life being a evil person and using your platform to dox and threaten people. Like, again, she just interjects. Says, I don't have any problem with Taylor's gender. Okay, If anything, I'm ageist. I hope you enjoyed this video though, and we'll talk to you again real soon.